I'm Rachel McKnight and I design and make contemporary jewellery and homeware using polypropylene and Perspex and I incorporate laser cutting into both of those sides of the business. The first stage usually either starts on paper and you can also scan in and trace around a drawing that you've done. My machine has its own software but I can also import Adobe Illustrator and AutoCAD files as well and they will directly import straight into the machine with, with no problems or anything. Once the design's on the computer, I'll usually do a, like a test cut just to see size-wise, you know, is it going to work out and, and everything like that. If it is a smaller kind of piece that I'm going to go into production with, I always like to check out how many I can cut in an hour, how many I can get from a sheet and work out my costs that way to see how cost effective it's going to be. The reaction to the laser cutting is brilliant. It's really, really good. When I first kind of started selling my work, people were intrigued that I was using plastics and things and, you know, they couldn't really maybe get their head around it. But it's definitely over the years, it's gotten much, much better. You know, it's usually men actually who are really interested in the laser cutting and the technical side. You know, the, the women are, are more, oh, you know, it's beautiful, it's, it's a lovely piece, but the men are, oh, how's it made, how's it cut? That's a great thing that you can be able to talk about the technology and how it is cut out. You can cut within a millimetre of the detail basically, so um, you can cut really, really intricate shapes and, and designs, so that's, I mean, the, the lace works brilliantly and I can cut really, really tiny, I mean, I, I make pendants and things which are, are quite small and have really small pieces. At school I, I loved art and actually, to be honest, all I ever wanted to do was art but I never really thought of it as a career really at the end of it. The challenges at the beginning were, were basically dealing with new technology and new machinery. I was okay with computers and things growing up, but this was something a little bit more specialized. The technology basically is a set of mirrors. So there is a laser beam sent down the side of the machine, which is then bounces off one mirror and sends it to the mirror on the arm of the machine. That's the one that kind of moves about and does all the cutting. So it gets sent to that mirror, which then gets pointed, directed down to do the cutting. My laser cutter can cut pretty much anything apart from metal. You need a special laser cutter to do that because of the reflections from metal. So what I generally cut, I've, you know, you can cut paper, card, plywood, I've cut MDF, um, polypropylene, perspex. The laser cutter kind of helps my business and it's more cost effective because I can produce things much faster. Once a design is done, it's, it's saved on the computer and it can be redone. Plus you can also use the same design and modify it in different ways quite quickly. But it's really just the speed and the finish that you get from using the laser cutter as well is incredible. I mean, it cuts perspex um, or acrylic incredibly well. You get a really pristine cut and finish on the edges and you really don't need to do a lot of other work cleaning up afterwards, which is a huge benefit and time saving for me really as, as a designer. The technology is incredible and it's, you know, it's, it's really of benefit and it has really benefited my business and changed my business. Mm -hmm.